So the patient in supine fingers going into the interspinous space. So the first interspinous space is under C2, between C2 and 3. Moving the cervical spine into flexion, an intervertebral movement. Piggybacking whilst leaving one finger above in the interspinous space above. Piggybacking again into the next interspinous space and creating the movement. You can see it's quite stiff on the skeleton. On your patient it will be a lot less stiff than this. Until you reach the thoracic region at the CT junction. As you go down to the CT junction you might go down as far as T2 depending on patient position. We'll move over now to the pet model and uh, as you can see in the um, insert as you continue down the cervical spine uh, you will lift the head higher on your torso to allow the movement to be generated from your legs and this will ensure that your hands remain soft for palpation and sensory feedback so you can feel that movement. So again we're piggybacking small amount of movement at each level, nice gentle soft hands and that force generated from your legs. It's a, it's a technique not to be rushed, the calmer the patient will give you the head so that they aren't contracting their muscles and making it difficult. And there we go, down into the CT junction. And now you can see the head relative to the torso is much higher than the starting position.